All right, so I finally made it to Japan, and we're at Tobu Zoo today. Uh, we're here for the ACE event, and we're going to be riding, um, I think it's Kawasemi and um, Regina. Regina is the Intamin wooden coaster. It's not a prefab, but it's, the, um, it's an older Intamin wooden coaster. And then um, the Intamin Megalite, which is Kawasemi. We're gonna ride for ERT. Oh. That's an interesting ride. And here it goes. Megalites are a production model. I was gonna say because it's just like the uh, all megalites. <laughs> Just got off uh, Kawasemi, and that was my first ever Intamin Megalite, and I think that was actually a pretty good ride. Um, it's probably running a little bit slow because it's a little early in the morning, um, but it had some pretty good air time. It was like a mild ejector, I would say, over this hill right here. It's definitely, a lot of people have said before it's similar to Mavericks. Uh, I would say it's a little bit weaker, but it might be just because it's running a little bit slow. The rest of the ride has uh, some pretty good pops of ejector coming down, and it's very twisty, and I really liked that. I thought it was pretty good. Just did two rides on Regina, and that one's a pretty good wooden coaster. It's um, an Intamin wooden coaster. Not a prefab, but it's Intamin. And uh, it's a little rough, but it's not anything too bad. It has a pretty good layout. We rode in the middle both times because they do assign seats on this. And it's in Japanese, so we didn't even want to ask. So we rode in the middle both times. And I think if you sit towards the front or the back, there'll probably be a little bit of air time. But there's, there's a slight, slight amount in the middle. Alright, so I got on uh, Kawasemi again. Uh, this time I actually got front row. We, we were just assigned front row, so we got really lucky. And um, that's, that's fantastic. That was even better in the front. That's a great, great, great coaster. So much airtime, so, so many different varieties of airtime. It's got floater, it's got ejector, it's got kind of in between uh, at some moments. It's, it's a fantastic ride. It's very twisty, it's pretty forceful. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, there's probably it's probably somewhere in my top 25. It's a great coaster Definitely worth coming out for Japan for it's absolutely fantastic with that uh, We actually did run out of time because they one of their trains went down mechanical so they Transferred on and they hadn't test run that one so it took a while. So actually we're gonna go do part of the zoo But we don't have time now So we'll just have to see what we see as we walk back to the shuttle because our our bus leaves um, at 12.30 and it's 12.16 right now so yeah we're gonna have to hurry it hurry back <laughs> oh that's a cassaway So we made it to Tokyo Dome City, and this is Thunder Dolphin, the Intamin Hyper Coaster. And it's got a very interesting design structure. Uh, and it goes on and over that building. It looks pretty incredible. Alright, so we made it to Tokyo Dome City, and we rode a uh, Thunder Dolphin. The park's currently its only coaster, and it is a Intamin Hyper Coaster. Uh, very similar to Millennium Force. It has a 80 degree drop just like Millennium Force. Uh, it's got quite a few overbanks and not really much air time to it. Over here, 
through the famous picture spot. Through the Ferris wheel. Over an airtime hill with no airtime. Another turn around. And then it's gonna go really slow over the building and come back into the brake run right over here. That will conclude today's trip to Tobu Zoo and uh, Tokyo Dome City, two great parks in uh, Tokyo. Uh, had a very fun time at both of them, great coasters. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when we do uh, Tashiyaman in Yamari Land.